fourth blessing. And of course, I will do my best to be worthy of that trust and to serve them well. I might add that um, while the World T20 is going on in the US and the West Indies, the super over was here. Uh, it's, it's too early to analyze that and too early to answer that question. But certainly, uh, it was not for want of trying, or not want of a, a vision for Tiruvandavaram. We campaigned extremely positively. Uh, as you know, there are uh, dynamics of uh, certain minority communities. I told you, it's. I am in a very totally ecstatic mood now because what was so very impossible has become gloriously possible. And it's definitely blessings from my grandparents who worked up to having the Janasangh during 30s. They were working then. And the kind of pains and travels that they had to go through, all that is getting paid now. It's a tribute to them as well. It was a very tight race and let me congratulate my two rivals, uh, Rajiv Chandra Shekhar and Pani and Ravindran, for having put up such a spirited fight that it became such a close contest. Now, I would say that um, the BJP focused very, very hard on Tiruvannathapuram as also on Trishul. And in some ways, Suresh Gopi's margin in Trishul is a measure of the scale of their defeat in Tiruvannathapuram because they put the same amount of effort Serious focus, national campaigners coming, national headquarters coming, serious expenditure, <coughs> a lot of hard work. And they, they, they really um, put up an enormous fight. I think one very important message um, of Suresh Gopi in, in, in um, Thrissur was his systematic outreach to minority communities. It's a very strong message to the BJP that a communal campaign will not go very far in Kerala. That is why I can't hear the studio properly. But you see, after a very long time, this kind of toll uh, and this kind of uh, celebration is happening at the Congress headquarters here at New Delhi. You see, the workers have already started celebrating. They are dancing, they are happy, they are elated. They say that up Purane Din Vapas and they are waiting for these Purane Din. They said 2022 was Nay uh, Din, but uh, the cylinder was around 1000. Cylinder price will be back to 415. So this is the kind of celebration that is happening here at the Congress headquarters. As far as Tiruvanthapuram is concerned, I think a strong appeal that uh, Rajiv Chandrasekhar had was basically, I am a minister. If you vote for me, you'll have a minister in, in government who can do more for you than a fellow in the opposition. I think that brought him a certain number of votes, particularly in the city, from the educated people, the elites, the government servants and so on. They must have been attracted by that message and, and something that, uh, that we really did uh, encounter in our campaign. But otherwise I would say that, um, that it was a good election. I'm sorry about some of the unfortunate language, uh, invective and accusations and allegations that were unnecessarily flung around. I hope that now that the election is over, we can put that behind us and treat each other with the kind of respect, the mutual respect that is essential in a democracy.